Oh, my private investigator has failed to sound any leads on Timmy. Fear not, Detective Nightingale is on the case. Are you going to track Timmy down on your own? You're a lawyer, James. You're not Hercules Faro. For the last time, it is Hercule Poirot. How many David Suchet marathons must I force you to sit through? You only hired your PI yesterday. Give him a chance. Besides, haven't you got that meeting today with the fancy pants lawyer? Hmm? I thought merging the firms was going to put D Valley Law back on the map. Finding Perry Stalker is more important than my career. Juliet was right. And so were you. I didn't mean take it to extremes. Listen, you can have a career and you can also support the girls. They're not mutually exclusive. <sighs> Morning, um. When Juliet wakes up, can you tell her I've gone for a walk in the park? I'll get you. Morning exercise. I just don't really want to be in my room longer than I have to be. You know, even with the cameras gone, I still can't hold Juliet without it feeling weird. <laughs> I hate this. I won't feel like that forever. I promise. Every minute that Timmy Simmons is free is another minute that Perry and Juliet don't feel safe. That ends. I find him today. And how are you going to do it? Because that slimy little creep didn't have a friend in the world. That is not strictly true, Hastings. Just the man. Getting on with a bit of business. And the rest of the wicked, eh? Well, that explains why he always looks so tired and jowly. <laughs> Where's Timmy? I wish I could help you. Really. But I've already told the police everything I know. See, if you're an honest man, that might seem credible. You were his employer. I'm guessing you have a second number for him or an email? Like I said, I'm afraid I can't help. Perry and Juliet had their privacy violated by that delusional stalker and you employed him. You owe it to them to help. All right. One thing I do know about Timmy, he's a coward. And cowards don't come back. So trust me, you've seen the last of him. I was going to ask you for some legal advice. That scumbag kicked us out of the dog, but I can see you've got your own problems. Oh, Fergus is lying. He has to be. Even if he is lying, you're not going to find any answers running around playing detective. Look, I have to find Timmy. It's the only way Perry and Juliet can get their lives back. Don't do anything stupid, OK? I, I don't want you ending up in prison. I have no intention of going to prison. Well, how far are you prepared to go? I mean, what is this? Is this justice or, or, or revenge? Because trust me, OK, the best thing that you could do for those girls is to leave Timmy to the police. Oi. Wow. You're looking slightly more geekier than usual. Guess that means you're going to merge your phone with that big wig legal eagle. With your blessing, of course. Look, uh, I know it feels like you're going to be free of Timmy, but the worst is over. Wherever he is right now, he can't hurt you anymore. Thanks. You know, for a cold, ruthless lawyer, deep down, you're actually kind of sweet. <laughs> You'll never prove it in court. <laughs> Oi! Were you playing out your perv? Well, it's not like it's your first time in front of a camera. Nice bedroom, by the way. Timmy showed you that footage? Who's Timmy? Oh, right, you don't know about the website. Website? Duh. People on the dark web pay good money to see you two. Oh, they did until the live feed went down. Young Blonde 183 has a huge following. Personally, I'm a fan of Skinny Brunette 109. And that lacy green nighty of yours. How dare you speak to her like that? Okay, Boomer. Smile. You're famous. <laughs> Come back here! I feel sick. If some random in the park has seen that live feed, then who else has? Blonde 183. That's what you called me. Right, Pez, we need to go to the police. They might be able to take the website down. Mum, the damage is already done. The most private parts of mine and Juliet's whole relationship have been splashed across the seedy corners of the internet. Pez, the police might be able to find this lad who's cat caught. It could lead us to Timmy. This is so much bigger than Timmy. You know, what if this is our life from now on? Being cat called in the street by every loser with a broadband connection? 
Jules, I'm... I'm sorry, I'm just making things worse. Can we go, please? Before anyone else recognizes us. You have been so strong for me through all this nightmare. Now it's my turn. Please tell me you just caught that little low-life perv. He got away. I'm so sorry. Clark, wondering why I'm not at our meeting. I'll cancel this, not important. No. No, I know how important that merger is to you, so... You go, I'll be fine. It's not like it can get any worse. Clark! Oh, sorry to keep you. I, uh... Had a family matter to attend to. Right, please. So, I uh, trust you've had a chance to prove our case files. You know what Deep Valley Law is and what we can do. Well, I know what you can do. Not so sure about these partners of yours, though. Although, I do like that redhead, Verity. Never hurts to have some eye candy in the courtroom. Uh, well, she does know a lot about the law, too, particularly sexual harassment. Uh, but uh, now, please put me out of my misery. Are you interested in. Merging with our firm? Well, to be honest, I have had my doubts. But all things considered, I'd say I'm in. Ha! Well, you will not regret it. Now, Mikey, the fruit of my loins, bane of my bank balance, will be over shortly with the paperwork. Oh, well, uh, let me grab a pen. <clears throat> oh, that's him now. Look, I've got another meeting to get to. Run that over when you're done, will you? Righto, will do. Ah, well done. Good done. Found it. <laughs> Mikey. So very pleased to meet you. You're not getting away this time. I keep telling you, I've never heard of Timmy Simmons. I only watch that live stream because the girls are fit. They have names. Juliet and Perry, my sister and her girlfriend. They are real people in a genuine relationship. And you violated their privacy by watching that live stream without their consent. Well, it's no fun if they know you're watching. Yeah, well, that my perverted little friend is a crime. So what? Do you report me? But if you do, you can kiss goodbye to merging your small town law firm with my dad's. You are no better than Timmy. You pay money to watch innocent women be shamed and degraded. Yeah. And from where I was sitting, they loved every minute of it. Jules, it's okay. There's no cameras in here. We're safe. I don't feel safe anywhere. I feel like I'm waiting for the next random lech to catcall us or ask us to put on a show. Well, if it's a show they want, let's give them one. Attention, calling all scumbag peeping toms. My girlfriend is strong, brave, and an absolute babe. We won't let them get to us, will we? <laughs> 